It's windy out today. I think there is a uh, storm brewing to the east and south of here, so lots of wind out here, but no storms, which is good. Forgot to set my alarm this morning, so it is currently 12 o'clock. We slept in really late today because we stayed up really late last night, so a lot of the day has already been used up, but I think since those storms are just to the east of us, or plan to be just to the east of us, I'm going to stay here for another day uh, in the area of Amarillo. I don't know where I'm going to camp tonight. I might do stealth camping in the city. We might end up at a rest stop. We might end up back in the wilderness or something like this. But yeah, I just don't want to drive east right now until, until most of that storm passes. So we just got another day in Amarillo. So a lot of the times I think I uh, talk too much in my videos. Um, but in reality, it's just my internal monologue that I'm vocalizing because I have no one else to talk to because I'm out here by myself. So in a way, other than FaceTiming my girlfriend, the only communication and conversation that I have is with my camera. So. Yeah, anyways, really glad that you guys liked the video so that I can keep posting them so that I can uh, let that inner monologue out sometimes. This wind really made my coffee cold really quick. It's not even warm anymore, it's been like seven minutes. All right. Let's get out of this wind, get back to the van, <clears throat> and get on with our day. I know I need to do my dishes. I will. So before we do anything else today, I think one, we're going to drive up the street here to the water spigot that's in this park and fill our tanks. If it's still open for the season, it might be closed because it's winter. And then two, I absolutely need a shower. Let's go. Oh no, there's no threaded tap. So I don't have a uh, gravity fill. So I need a threaded tap to fill my tank so I can't use this just cut off kind of hose mechanism that they have. So that sucks. But I guess we won't be filling our water tanks here. We'll have to find somewhere else. So I guess we're just off to take a shower. I'm about an hour away from Amarillo right now and uh, the plan of fitness we're heading to is in Amarillo. So I will check in with you guys once I get there. So I always get people asking me why I don't use the uh, shower that's built into my van right there. And I do use it. It's just in the winter time, I bypass my hot water heater so that it doesn't freeze and explode my entire system. And so I don't have any hot water in the winter, which is the primary reason why I don't use that shower or take outdoor showers, which I definitely can do and definitely do do in the summertime. It's just, it's not as pleasant in the uh, winter time. So since we're in Amarillo and uh, we're only about five miles from Cadillac Ranch, I figured it's one of those kind of road trip staples that you kind of have to go check out if you drive by it. So. We're gonna head over there, check out Cadillac Ranch. Then I got a few more things I gotta do and then we're gonna find a campsite for the night, probably stealth camping somewhere in the city. So I'm gonna be honest, personally, I don't really have that much interest in going to check out Cadillac Ranch. I just feel like it's kind of one of those things that you have to check out if you're in the area. And since we're so close, I just figured why not? Might as well. I gotta put a hat on because it's so windy out, but we're here. They're just right out there. I don't know if you guys can see them from here, but let's go check them out. So this spot is actually not the original location where these uh, Cadillacs were. They were moved a couple years ago to move them further away from the city, but the property is still owned by the uh, same guy who originally funded the project. So obviously these Cadillacs have been in way better shape than they currently are. There is a thick, thick layer of spray paint kind of dripping down on all of them. It's gotta be at least two inches thick on every single car. And fun fact about these cars, all of them are installed at the same angle of the Pyramid of Giza for some reason. 
which is kind of neat. And these cars weren't originally meant to be spray painted. It's just that people do what people do best and they destroy things. Um, but the artist didn't really care. So now it's kind of promoted to come out here with your own can of spray paint and spray paint the cars. So there you go. That is Cadillac Ranch for you, but it is just incredibly windy out here. I got to get back to the van. It's like a windstorm out there. All right, so since it is day 10 of my cross country road trip and I have not done laundry basically since I left on this trip, uh, it's starting to pile up. So I think I'm gonna head over to this laundromat nearby and uh, get my laundry done. This whole like area is covered in spray paint. Actually, it's not even just the Cadillacs. It's the barrier wall, the street, the road, everything. It's just coated in spray paint. So I love coming to these kind of newer laundromats because uh, they always have these machines where you can buy a card and then use them in the machines as opposed to using coins because I never have coins and I never have cash. So I'm constantly having to find an ATM before, uh, before I end up doing laundry. But I looked this one up online and they have that little card machine. So I don't need to get any quarters, which is nice. And I think while we wait for that to be done, I'm just gonna make some lunch and then play a little bit of Xbox. And this is just another, one of those reasons why having an Xbox in the van is nice. I wonder what these kids would think if they knew they were getting crapped on by some guy at a laundromat in Texas. All right. Time to head in, flip our laundry, and then wait another 30 minutes. There we go. Now we just wait for that to finish. So typically I'll fold my laundry in the store too, just because there's more space in there to do it. And then I'll just bag it up and bring it out. All right, so now that we got our laundry done, um, I got a few more things that I get done today, and then we're probably just going to pull into a gas station uh, nearby to sleep for the night because I don't really feel like driving anymore. So I got to fill up my water tank and then uh, grab some groceries, and then I think I'm going to cook some honey pepper chicken thighs, which are going to be absolutely delicious. Also, I know a lot of the people who view my videos are not subscribed to my channel. So if you do enjoy my content and you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click that subscribe button below. It really does help out, and uh, I appreciate it. to our home for the night at this TA Exxon travel stop. Travel stops are honestly some of my favorite places to stay, unless the trucks park close by or it's near a train station because then it can be a little bit too loud. But other than that, travel stops are pretty much ideal for uh, camping out overnight. All right, let's get to cooking dinner because your boy is starving. So tonight I think I'm doing some chicken over rice, but it's gonna be absolutely delicious chicken. It's gonna be a honey pepper chicken thigh over rice. And I'm super excited. And with how simple this recipe is, it's actually kind of surprising how many different ingredients go in it. Cause all of this is actually gonna go in it. I'm making a sauce and then I'm also making a paste to coat the uh, chicken ends. All right, so to make the paste, we need some oil, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, a little bit of salt, Italian seasoning, and just a little bit of Saison. Then we can mix that up. And then that's gonna be like the paste that we're gonna coat our chicken in. And actually before we season our chicken, I'm gonna get the rice started so that we can get that boiling and ready. Now that we have that, we can take our chicken breasts and coat them up. That sounds so gross. You hear that? So gross. All right, now that we've got two coated chicken breasts, I'm gonna wash my hands and then we'll get started on the rest. 
All right, now we can set this chicken aside and then we'll start making the honey pepper sauce that's gonna go on them after they cook. And the water is boiling for our rice, so we'll put that in too real quick. We need some honey, soy sauce. I think I might need a bigger container actually. There we go. Some brown sugar. Just a little bit of vinegar, some pineapple juice, some lemon juice, and then just a little bit of cayenne. And then we mix all of that up and then we're gonna simmer that on low until it thickens up. All right, so I took the rice off. I'll put the uh, sauce on that back burner here, let that start thickening up. And then when we let our sauce thicken, I'm gonna start cooking this chicken, that rhymes. All right, chicken is done, sauce is done, rice is done. Let's get it all plated up. Start out with some rice on the bottom. Chicken. And then we'll take some of this sauce and just spoon it over. And look at that. Gorgeous piece of chicken over some rice. Also, that water fill-up station that I went to today was probably the sketchiest place that I've ever filled up with water. It was literally just a O'Reilly's Auto Parts with a spigot on the side. Very weird spot to fill up with water, but it was free, so I'm not complaining. But this looks delicious. So this recipe is like a healthier spinoff of one of my favorite meals of all time, which if you've been to Applebee's, you've probably seen it before. It's the honey pepper chicken tenders with four cheese mac and cheese. And I'm telling you, it is the best meal on the face of the planet. That honey pepper sauce is essentially what I put on this chicken. But Applebee's, it's like fried chicken tenders and then like a four cheese mac and cheese, so it's like 3,000 calories. This is just like a pan seared chicken over rice, so it's a little bit healthier version of that. I mean, it's the first time I've made it, but I think that's gonna do it for day 10, camping out at a rest stop in Texas. Appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button. It really does help, and I will catch you guys in the morning.